hello hello welcome to another video in this video i'll be going over how do i draw an eye with ballpoint pen in this video i'm going to be giving you tips and tricks on how to render the eye how to make it look better how to make it look realistic and not just some lame drawing so i'm here for you i'm here to give you tips and advice and i hope you enjoy this video welcome again in this video we'll be going over how to draw an eye so I already drew outside the eye already, but I'm going to be drawing the iris and the pupil. The reference photo I'm using has glare within the eyes and they're right here, just small circles. And this shouldn't be too difficult to draw at all. When I draw the pupil or the iris of the eye, I fill it in with it just hatching, just like the skin, I hatch. So I'm going in with the first layer. And it doesn't have to be super perfect, but just make sure that you make the lines consistent. And don't forget about the glare you drew. If you are using a reference photo and it does have a glare, try not to draw within that glare because there will be no point of having a glare if you just draw inside of it. You want that to stay as white as possible. For this reference photo, you can't really see the pupil, but I can see it just a little and I'm going to draw my outline for that. And I'm going to outline the glare, the glares. That's one. This is two. And um, hatch inside the pupil. Now, it doesn't have to be too much contrast. So, like, you don't have to make the pupil super dark, the rest of the eye super dark. It just has to be noticeable. I know it looks a little funny right now, but trust me, it's going to all come together. Trust the process. And there's going to be so many times where you're just drawing and then you take a break or you just take a second to look at the drawing and you realize like this looks nothing like what I'm supposed to be drawing. In that moment, it might not. But if you just keep going and keep pushing, you will get there eventually. So don't give up. It's OK if you don't like a drawing once you're done, but just don't give up in the middle of the process because you never know what can happen. Even for this drawing, like I accidentally started on the wrong side of the paper because the two sides have kind of like different textures. And uh, I was gonna just restart on the other side, but then you know, I told myself like, you know what? Let's just give this side a try and let's just see how far I can take it. I'm actually loving it so far, so try not to give up. So what I'm doing now is just adding more hatching in the eye. Here we go. So this eye is super dark, but I'm just taking my time, just slowly uh, darkening the value of the eye and uh, not rushing it. Since the glares are getting lost, glare highlight, uh, whichever one you prefer, since they're getting lost within the eye, I'm just outlining them, making them darker so they can stand out better. So I don't accidentally draw inside of them. There we go. Then at the top of the eye, let me add in some lines just to darken the top. So most portraits, the eyelid comes on top of the eyeball, correct? And you're going to have this shadow that falls on the eye. So the top part of the eye is going to be darker than like the middle part of the eye or the bottom part of the eye usually. So this is going to be the darkest part is the top of the eye.
I'm going to lightly outline this side of the eye, the iris. I'm at a point now where I have the general value on the eye. So what I'm gonna do now is just darken the whole thing. So that means I'm gonna hatch even more and add these layers just to darken it. And as you see, the pupil got lost, so it's time to darken the pupil again. And I'm using a mixture of techniques, so I'm using like a hatching, but like stippling technique at the same time. So when I work in very tight areas, especially on this side of the paper, I use a stippling technique, which is, which is just like a bunch of dots right next to each other. So that's really all I'm doing. darkening the outline of the iris. Then I'm gonna darken the top of the, the iris. You see how I slowly darken areas and I just don't rush into it. It's always good to do that. Take your time, especially with working with pen. Like you're not able to go back and really erase these dark areas. So take your time. And this actually teaches you a lot of patience. This like drawing in general has taught me so much patience. And I use patience in my everyday life now just because of all the things I've been through with, you know, drawing portraits. There's life lessons in everything. Now this area right here needs to be dark as well. I kept the light because I wasn't too sure how dark I wanted it since I didn't do this part yet, but now I definitely need to darken this area. Now let's implement more of a hatching technique. Now you can see the eye really come together, but something still looks off. Do you know what that is? Do you know what looks off about the eye? Although I'm almost done rendering this part right here. Well, what looks off is that like, I didn't work on any other parts of the eye. Like if you just do the iris, the pupil, like the dark area of the eye, then that's not enough. You need to add in the shadows to make the eyeball look like an actual sphere. I also need to work on this part.
right here. Creating that line. And then also darkening this line right here. So details are very important when it comes to portrait drawing. When I look at people's drawings, like especially beginners, uh, I can see like improvements on like how far they come as a portrait artist. But the one thing they seem to always be missing are like the small details. And that's very important. So this area right here is called the lacrimal caruncle. I hope I said that right. But it's basically this, the glands of your eye. And there are gonna be so many different highlights and like contrast going on right here. This part doesn't have to be spot on, but just make sure it's clean work. Just make sure you have like, you know, some of those highlights and then some of those weird shapes. Other than that, like you should be fine. This shouldn't be a difficult part to uh, draw. see i'm done just like that i might go back in and do like a little more details with this but that's all it took really and then i also have to add a very light shadow right here do you see how this it's a very, very light shadow from the eyelid made a huge difference with the eyeball. It actually makes the eyeball look like a sphere on this side. I'm going to do the same on this side right here. Now, there's eyelashes that I will add in, but not quite yet. I like to add in eyelashes uh, last. So adding that light shadow up here. Bringing it up just like that. And this part doesn't necessarily have to be consistent. It just has to show that value of that dark to light. There we go. Now I have to darken more of the iris. So I'm taking my time with darkening this area right here, slowly building up that, that dark value. And I am using a stippling technique at the moment. Now you can see how darker that looks on, around the iris. Now up here, I do have to darken this part. Now 
Now I'm gonna lightly add in this part right here because I feel like this needs to be filled in more. And then darken this inside part. With my drawings, I love to just jump around from one area to another. And it helps me really like put the drawing together cohesively like a puzzle piece. This, you can tell like with my drawing, like with the iris and the pupil, like this, the whole lens of the eye is that it looks realistic because I took my time and I gradually added in the hatching lines and slowly added in the value transitions. And it doesn't look like a solid circle, which it shouldn't. It just should look real. Cause you know how you look at someone's eye like real close, it doesn't look like a solid circle. And that is my goal with drawing eyes. I feel comfortable enough to darken this part right here. Just very lightly though, not like too much. But I just felt like this needed to be darker. Now it's time for one of my favorite parts, which is adding the eyelashes. So I'm gonna have to turn my drawing to the side because I don't feel comfortable. I tell artists this all the time. If you need to turn your paper around, do it. I do it all the freaking time when I draw, all the time. Let me add in these eyelashes. I like to start off super light because you can always darken the, the lines. Start off light, just make sure you get the, the shape you want down. So now I have like the overall shape of where I want the eyelashes. I'm just gonna take my time and darken each one. And that's good for now. I don't want to go super dark. That's that's totally fine for now. Create this outline. go. So the last part I'm going to do for now is darken this corner to make the eyeball look like a sphere. So remember, take your time. Build the layers. come down and darken right here. I'm gonna come back later in the drawing and then, you know, put in some details. But other than that, this is how you draw an eye. Like you can tell if you watch all the way from the beginning to this point now, you saw the actual transformation and you saw it really was not that hard to do. You saw every single step and you can do it too. It's really not that hard. Start off lightly. Like if I had to give you a tip before I end this video is start off very lightly with drawing, just like these eyebrows. I barely drew them in, but I'm gonna come back and darken them. You just want the overall shape and you want to build the values on top of one another very gradually, like very slow. I might do a part two on working on this eye right here, just so I can show you guys again. And there's nothing better than repetition, like watching and learning something over and over again so you can implement it into your drawings. Like and subscribe and comment. Tell me what you think and tell me what you would like to see next.